Hi, I'm Chuck with Simply Nook, and this is the new Tiger Canyon Nook from Intel. It's got some exciting features. This is the fifth in the line of commercial Nooks from Intel, which means it has a three-year availability, where the consumer products are typically one. So we're gonna delve into some of the features on the new product. There are five processor SKUs. This one is the i3. They are for the first time offering the i5 and i7 without vPro. So in case you want the higher performance in the consumer package but don't need vPro, that'll save you a few dollars. It's uh, available in I, the K chassis, the short one, and this one we'll look at today, which is the H chassis. And then for the H chassis, they're offering it with, selected models will be offered with a um, gigabit ethernet plus two USB ports. So let's take a look at this. This is a prototype and doesn't represent the production packaging at all. There's a the unit. In fact, the paperwork even says uh, pre-production on it. We have the uh, Visa plate. We have a US power cord, a power brick, and the screw package which has uh, for mounting the Visa plate to the nook. All right. Starting with the front, on the right side, we have our illuminated power button, which also indicates when it's in hibernation or sleeping. We have two 10 gigabit USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A ports. On the left side, we have our Kensington lock along with a large cooling inlet area, as well as the right. And then taking a look at the back, And starting again at the right, uh, left side, <laughs> we have our 5.5 by 2.5 millimeter DC jack, which is, uh, the unit is comes with a power adapter. There are two HDMI ports. These are both HDMI 2.0 and give you up to 4K uh, 60 hertz. We have two Thunderbolt C ports which also are USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C with alternate display port and Thunderbolt uh, 4. And you can drive monitors off of these two connectors as well for a total of four 4K monitors or one 8K monitor. We have USB 3.2 Gen 2 10 gigabit Type-A port and we have a USB 2.0 port as well. Along the top we have our heat exhaust and then we have a 2.5 gigabit ethernet port. I do want to show you that on the H chassis, which is the tall one with a two and a half inch drive bay inside, that for the IO options, which are, are several on the Simply Nook site, there's a new gigabit ethernet with two more USB 2.0 ports as an option. Taking a look at the inside of the H or tall chassis, we'll cover the features that are common between it and the K and short chassis. Uh, and then I'll point out those uh, features that are only in this chassis. So first, we have two DDR4 3200 DIMMs for up to 64 gig of memory. We have our 2230 M.2 slot for our Wi-Fi 6 radio that is removable. And we have a 2280 M.2 slot for our storage, our SSD, up to 16, I'm sorry, up to eight terabytes. And please note that for the first time ever, this does not support SATA. It's NVMe, PCIe only. We also have two, these two white are USB 2.0 for I.O. or lid options. And we have this black connector is our RS-232 serial option for either a lid or an I.O. panel option. We have our front panel header. Now, the difference is 
in the H chassis or uh, tall over the slim chassis K is first there's a two and a half inch drive bay over here. And this would be missing on the K chassis or slim. And then these two uh, cooler, uh, thermal cooler and this cooling plate is, is not required on the shorter chassis. So these are stuck directly to the bottom plate and press against the SSD for cooling and against the optional IO module for cooling. Also, this one is shown with the optional gigabit plus two USB uh, board. So this board is not automatically in all H or tall chassis. It's only in the versions that come with the secondary uh, Ethernet or that you order uh, other I.O. expansion options that Simply Nook will be offering. And so that drives this gigabit Ethernet port and then the other two USBs. So what is on this connector is our USB 3.0, it's not in the, the chassis anymore because it's on this connector, uh, two, one or two PCI Express lanes and our SATA link are here. And so this allows us to do a variety of different I.O. modules. Head over to simplynook.com at the links below and thank you.